This is a patient who had some left lower quadrant pain, and I want to focus on some incidental masses that we picked up on this patient. This is a non-contrast CT. We can see the first of these masses in the right lower quadrant, this calcified mass over here, and additional mass sort of in the anterior midline, um, also partially calcified. This one looks like it's associated or intimately associated with some loops of bowel, but it's also intimately associated with the left adnexa and the uterus. So an MRI was suggested to further evaluate these findings. And on the MR, at least for the mass in the uh, midline, we can see that it's T2 hypointense, and it really does look like it's associated with the uh, left uterine fundus right over there. And so that's going to be a subserous of fibroid that's arising in that location. Now, there are additional fibroids within the uterus as well. And there's also this uh, abnormal appearance of the endometrium, which uh, we won't get into. But in terms of the other mass in the right lower quadrant, we can see it right over here. It's T2 hypointense due to its calcifications. And we can actually see if we examine this that it's uh, attached to the uterus via this very thin stalk. So that's the right uterine fundus. We have this T2 hypointense stalk that's coming out from it, sort of sneaking in between some loops of bowel. Here it is again, and it's going right to this lesion. We can see this nicely on the post-contrast sequences as well, this enhancing stalk going cephalid and uh, really terminating in this right lower quadrant mass. And so the additional mass also turns out to be a subserial so fibroid. It's a pedunculated fibroid with um, a rather long and thin stalk, which terminates in this uh, calcified fibroid in the right lower quadrant.